Henda, you are now entering a space for black history. Welcome to black excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. We got a hundred and seven views! <laughs> We got a special announcement to make today, 7th of November, mm-hmm. 2020. Give it up for the one and only Saul Peluka. <laughs> So the next milestone, Sol, are you ready for this? We're trying to fill up uh, Sunbet Arena in Pretoria for our one million subscribers what? event. One million? One million. Hey, hey man, I'm scared about this one, Sol. Your nickname was Rob. Of course. <laughs> you know what I mean? Firstly. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. 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 No. Mm. Who is that person today? The Mary or the Bra? Oh. The Mary. <laughs> <laughs> no scales. So. You guys are talking like 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 we did this all the time. We did it maybe like three times. Oh. But you made it sound like that, and that's all the time. Once is a mistake. Twice is a decision. Three times. All the time. It's a habit. No young signal go to they wanna move the car. Because there's someone who's leaving. Okay. So it's busy with. What's the first thing you ever said to Brad Binder? The first thing? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't go, eh? Oh, you. I said hello. Robo Pops. What is I'm a cheese girl, I'm a cheese boy, da. We. Motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a Lala story. Pitting on my guest, and nice said moy. You wanna my bundles, not of joy. Said it's some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. 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 Call you all boy like friends like me. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese, popcorn and cheese, call woe woe like friends like these. Ladies and gentlemen, cheese boys, cheese girls, cheese gang, please put your digital hands together, make some noise, give it up for the one and only, the legend in the making, singer, dancer, piano artist, funny guy, tall, long, inner poet abilities. Give it up for the one and only Robert Ball. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the one and only, the one that pops while popping, the one that's not a cocoa pops, that's not a sprinkle pops, but is the funny, light skin, fresh cut, umpo pops, umpo pops, when wa popa, unga popanga, nyata, nyata, nyata. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, lacking in the shadows. Someone you never know is there, but is always there. The one they call the ghost man boy. Please put your hands together for the spirit from Limpopo. The one from Limpopo. The one and only Titi Chumeric the Paperic. Chumeric the Paperic. Robert Boy almost did his father's uh, thing. Yeah, he was, he, he was almost there. I was mm. like, keep going. And yeah. then he stopped. Yeah, because the end. The, yeah, I turned red because when the robot's red. Wow. When are you going to embrace your inner poet, bro? Yeah? When are you going to embrace When I'm your, ready. When you're... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah. When you are ready. Yes. Oh, man. So, guys, welcome to... Uh, a different kind of episode of popcorn and cheese. We don't have a, we don't really have a guest today. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just us chilling, shooting the breeze. Yeah. A lot has happened, and 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 we want to talk about a couple of things that have happened that have just been crazy, man. Like uh, a you young know. recap, yeah, no. yeah, man. You know, like first of all, I didn't know your nickname was Rob. <laughs> you know what I mean, firstly, uh, uh-uh. uh, mm-mm. 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 no, mm, mm, mm. You let a grown man call you Rob. And he said it happened in a conversation where he was like, yeah, and then I need to, I should go with Rob. And then, 
Him calling me Rob is okay because his name is Alpheus. So, Alfie Rob. But Rob is not short for Robo Otto. It is. <laughs> Who else calls you Rob? Alfie. <laughs> <laughs> Alfie. Alfias and Rob sound like friends. Yeah. Al- Al- yeah. Alfios and Rob sound like they have matching leather jackets. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 so, so, to Anavelo or Rob. And if you're wondering why Mpo Pops has got matching shoes with the matching background, it's because here at Streaming Studios, <laughs> we've got everything you need from digital to technical. Every camera, sound, every background, even a green screen. If you want to stream anything or shoot anything here at Streaming Studios, visit us at Parkest, secret location in Parkest. Sigupi, Sila, a Parkest, Streaming Studios. <laughs> I'm always so impressed at how good these things turn out. The uh, call to action for streaming studios, no? Yeah, because it's like it's been a journey of like so many episodes, and still they are still fire. Right, yeah. man. Like my favorite one was when you said streaming studios here in Parkhurst, where, st- where studios should be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was funny. That was nice. That was funny. Let's talk about that chair you're sitting on, Pops. Bro, so, that's, you see, this is also another part of about being in streaming studios, right? Is that people have seen how nah things are in streaming studios. Then, 2050, decided, you know what? We need to hook our boys up with some furniture. And right now, we are sitting on state-of-the-art Gold plated, e gold le. Unmovable pillows. Mamela. Mamela. So here at Streaming Studios, not only are we electrified and Wi Fi, we are also furniture fied. Thank you to 2050 Promotions. If you'd like to see any of their work or hit them up for some needs you might have for finishing your event, their Facebook details are on the screen. Yeah, no, we've covered. Uh, we've covered. I'm back at Rob. <laughs> Dog, yes. We we reflecting now. Yes. On episodes. Need decide a nina or bigger Linda or Rob. What about your breakup story? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, which breakup story? <laughs> the one where you said, "My brother, what a she's my maid." She's my maid. She's my maid. Yeah, that's. The, I, I ended the story, didn't I? So it's done. No, yeah, that's where that's where the story ended. So where is that person today? The Mary or the bra? Both. The Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Are they together? <laughs> so where's the Mary? How, because how, she broke your heart. Where's the Mary? Uh, I don't know. I I haven't spoken to a Mary. In, in if a you're watching long popcorn time. and cheese, and you happen to be a cheese girl. Please hit us up and say, I'm the Mary. Tell us your side of the story. Yeah, we need, no. to, we need to know her side of the story. So yeah, so when that guy said, hey, bro, this is my Mary, I picked up the dustbin and I tried to throw the dustbin at him. men are trash. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you're throwing him with his cousin. Wow. wow. And then after that, I said to my boy, I right, let's leave. And then I jumped into my, to my boy's car. He was driving a, a Polo TDI. Standard. So we jumped in the car. When we got into the car, there was a bottle of apple sours. Mm-hmm. You know that green? Yar, bro. Yeah. That is so from Meerdale to Mondio, which is like a 10-minute drive, I downed that whole bottle. Yeah. That's how That's how. In, in pain and hurt I was. You didn't think of slapping him the way Primo... Uh, uh, so yeah, so so I I drank I drank that that I was all the way to my house. Uh, I'm, I'm coming there to you. <laughs> I'm coming there to you because you just woke, you just spoke about something else. I drank that sour all the way to my house. By the time I got home, it was done. Then when I got home, I opened my mom's cabinet. She had Jack Daniels in there. Yeah. I was so bro, I'm a kid, you know what I mean? I was, mm. How old was I? Was, and it's a kid show. You know, I was I was what, 17, 19. I was 19, you know, so I was still young. Then I got home and I found my my mom's Jack Daniels in the cupboard. And I just, I got open and I drank that. And I passed out. <laughs> then I woke up and I realized, yo, I drank my mom's Jack Daniels. So I had to like 
replace it, but I didn't have money. So I boiled uh, the kettle. Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's choco. Bro, no. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> Literally. When you <laughs> I made tea. And you. And then I poured it into the Jack Daniels. And I closed it and I put it back in. But I can't believe, because when you told the story, you were the hero at the end. I know, right? <laughs> That's why I had to bring it out. <laughs> I'm going to be having a reflection episode. Some of these <laughs> things are proofs here. Okay, actually, can we discuss... <laughs> can we discuss the fact that when we are talking about eating... Birds, Namachuba. You said lizards. Yes, Titi. You know, the cheese, the gang, cheese gang. The cheese gang. Say in the comments, like, yo, how did we skip the fact that this nigga said, yeah, and lizards. <laughs> and lizards. We were yeah. talking about eating birds, catching birds as young kids. Dog, you guys chowed lizards. Go to Bokho. Me and my friends. Child yeah, it's you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless they were, they were girls. girls in the thing. Oh. Ah. So you're eating lizards with girls? Yeah. I remember <laughs> when you caught our first one. <laughs> <laughs> there was more. There was more. We <laughs> caught our first one. Like also in Limpopo, lizards are everywhere, bro. Like and different types of lizards. So accessible lizards, like I. Yeah. So okay, where I'm from, there were a lot of lizards because you know the people always have bricks oh. and they don't build for like eight years. <laughs> then the lizards. <laughs> eight years. <laughs> the lizards are like, I just, oh my. So the lizards are chilling there. So we found lizards and we used to kill lizards every now and again. So someone went, someone went and then after killing went. Yeah. No. No, <laughs> someone decided, let's bry. Yeah, exactly. You remember when you used to bry and everyone steals like ingredients from their family member. And you brought lizards. No, we had a lizard already and then you we bring had bring in bry, come on, <laughs> see, see, we let somebody lizard. Yeah. And we chowed it, bro. It was nice. Please, like, oh, please walk us through the step of of of, uh, of uh, skinning a, a, a lizard. Yeah, you have yeah. to skin it. Like you take out the insides, obviously first, and then you eat it. Like and you just bry it nicely. Do you, do you peel it? Because because it's not like lizard in in a boar. Yeah, it's got like yeah that uh, skin, ex like. exo exo something skin. I forgot what it's called. So do you do you peel the, the skin? scales? No, it's like an exo something ski. I don't. They are those. They're hot. Whoa! Do you fry it? Scales. scales. <laughs> a no, fish has scales. So. You guys are talking like 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 we did this all the time. We did it maybe like three times. Oh. But you made it sound like that, and that's all the time. <laughs> Once is a mistake. Twice is a decision. Three times, it's, all the time. It's a habit. It was like our silly pet peeve. We're like, hey, just, let's go get a Lisa. <laughs> And then we got it inside, we bright it, we take out the inside, cut the head, chow it, you know. Sometimes the tail is still ticking ticking. Yeah, the, it does that. Part. Yeah. Do you know sometimes some lizards for <laughs> like a defense kids. for a defense mechanism, if they are in under attack or they get scared, they release their tails. Yes. And the tails keep moving so that the prey, I mean that predator, so that the predator can stay on the tail while it makes its run for it. Yeah. And then it, the tail eventually grows back. Yeah. So it can e eject or seat its tail. Yeah, it just... So that's what Titi is saying. Sometimes Did that ever happen while you were brying? The tail just fly off? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> like, that tail is fragile. Eh? It's a fragile tail, that one. One mistake is just... Ah, it doesn't like part of the body when it's time for fire. Bro. Like, but yeah, we used to bry those things, put it on a stick, bry it a little bit, taste it. Like, we didn't eat the whole thing. We just taste it. And now it's what was, what was your tail. favorite part of the lizard? The legs. <laughs> I'm out to an early lizard. <laughs> did you guys have this on a Monday? Guys, I, I did this thing probably like before I was even like double digits years old, man. We were kids. Because yeah. this is not nice. Guys, Monday, lizard Yeah, bro. You guys have opened lizard Thursdays. Yeah. Guests are now coming here thinking they can go around. Mickey Patrick. Elf won't go around last week. I don't know what. Ah, uh, Asia. Yeah. Yeah. He's no. coming for you, eh? Dog, and he, he, was, he was on your case. Alfie was on your case, man. I think it was the corduroy jacket. Yeah. He also said, I have problems. You know when someone says, hey, man, you have problems. <laughs> now, hey, man, like, didn't you say he's got a kiss kiss when he walked in here? Yeah, you made fun of his kiss kiss, though. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you made fun of his kiss kiss. Now, he's got braces, and he was and he had the things, that the cable ties to the braces. The elastics. <laughs> ah, the elastics. Ah, cable ties. Ah. Ah. And then he was asking us, should he should he go on with the cable with the elastics or not? Ish. And then you gave him hell, you know what I mean? But yeah, speaking about kids, bro, uh, and the things we used to do as kids, 
Do you see this thing that's happening now with this prime energy drink? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is it? I don't even know if it's an energy drink. Isn't it like vitamin water? It's a hydro... What is it? Like mm-hmm. vitamin water, like... Yeah, it's like a hydration drink. That's how they sold it. That's why they said So it. it's a hydration drink, right? Yeah. So I think uh, Logan and Jake Paul, are the, they own Prime, right? So it's Logan and KSI. KSI. Logan and KSI. Yeah. Logan Paul and KSI. Yeah. They own Prime, right? Yeah. So I think their marketing campaign was just brilliant, bruh. Yeah. I have never seen so many white people lined up outside of a checkers. Bro, like I, I have ne- <laughs> this is this was, this was crazy. Yeah. Seven a.m. This was, yeah. this was worse than a new Apple launch device. Yeah, new Apple yeah. device launch, right? And that's because their marketing tactic was genius, bro. All they did was they dropped the drink at uh, petrol stations first, and they were like, "This thing is five hundred bucks." Then exclusivity, exclusive what? Exclusivity. <laughs> <laughs> Insomniac. Ah, that's not in yeah. <laughs> That's not Exclusivity. <laughs> Exclusivity. <laughs> it's a word, Bob's. Exclusivity. Yeah, that's, yeah, a, that's a real word. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 not here. Uh, yeah. You wanted to uh, see we'll for Alfie. in the comments. You wanted to Alfie me. Uh, we'll see. Let's pay for no Alfie So yeah, that exclusivity. <laughs> So, so that thing of creating that 500 bucks exclusivity, right? And everyone, that talkability, bro. Are you yeah. crazy? You're going to charge people 500 bucks for sugar and water. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then after that, after a couple of weeks, you go, okay, it's actually 40 bucks. We're, we're giving away limited stock to check a shop. Yeah. And then that's how you have people, bro. Every checkers had a line to the point where checkers had to put up a sign saying, "Say pay lil. eight eight per customer, limiting it to eight per customer." Oh, because if someone comes and sweeps it all, then now it's by my friend, and now yes, uh uh-uh. uh, yeah, no. That was a genius marketing campaign. It was like the same as when McDonald's came here. You remember McDonald? McDonald yeah, and Mandela was there. Yes, Mandela the even went there. In the line? Yeah. Yeah, Mandela went to McDonald's, bro. And he was waiting in the line. Come on, guys. Mandela's been waiting in line for too long. I was waiting man. in the line. Uh, why? Why didn't line up with McDonald's? Yeah. Yeah, for not here, Big Mac. What do you think Nelson Mandela had at? Ah, uh, well, got a pound. <laughs> uh, McFlurry. <laughs> with a lemon. <laughs> McFizz. <laughs> no, but back then there wasn't McFizz, no? No. Ah, no, no, just no, it, was just, uh, it was a Coca-Cola. <laughs> I wish Robin Island had one of this. <laughs> ah, man, guys. Ah, Titi. Oh, he doesn't need that. I'm not losing it. Oh, Titi. Oh, Titi. Ah, Titi. Ah, ah, Titi. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of Prime, just hold on quickly. Bro, you need to work on your hand signals. I was very worried. No young signal like they want to move the car because there's someone who's leaving. Okay. So it's busy with Understand now if he did the, but he like, did it like this. This is to, his, to the ah. Ah, Bob's is a family yeah. show. Bob's. No, we I have a kid. No, I didn't say. <laughs> we have a kid coming. Bob's ah, uh, Bob's, Bob's. <laughs> Uh-uh. Okay, let's just help him out. Dog, car. The car out the way. Move. Yeah. Car is on the desk. desk. What was this for? Because this means tomorrow. Outside. 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 This is outside. outside. Hey, this, is tomorrow. this is tomorrow. And then this is next week. And then this is next month. <laughs> so don't use this. Apparently, rather. The, no, the keys are on the desk. They, they have a picture of my kid. She looks exactly like me. Away. Away. Okay. Yeah. Prime. Primo. Prime. Primo. Oh. Hey, why is Primo slapping Uncle Vinny, talk? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I watched the, that video. I'm like, ah, yeah. oh, Primo. Then Primo makes a video saying it's not me. I'm like, bro, obviously you're going to deny. Dog. Ah, and, that's Primo, talk. And that was a frustrated one. Cause, yeah. Because he almost missed. Yeah. But he got a little bit. You know? Like you. Like Vinny said something to hurt Primo, you know? <laughs> yeah, Vela, that's why I'm going to lie in South Africa. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Head, head clapping and cramping it. I don't know if you saw. <laughs> Bonganu Kumalo was better than the oh. Yo. Oh, Lucas. Pa. I know no, they clapped yo. I you know, guys, dog. Uh, you guys finish me. No, but you see, this is the problem about having lookalikes out there, bruh. Yeah. You might, you might just, you wake up, next thing you're trending, people are sending you DMs. Dude, Dude Donna, why was, did you slap Vinny? He was trending on Twitter. Yeah. He was, his name was trending, the video was trending, and Primo was trending too. Now I must wake up and say, no, guys, it wasn't me. That time we screened the code, we paused, and it looks like him. Bro, and I watched even that, that video club, a couple of times. It wasn't a wanna fight, it was a Undoan. But... I watched that video yeah. a couple of times. I'm like, that's primo. It's difficult to believe that it's not him, bro. It's, yeah, shame it it's not like him. him. The head shape, you know, the long neck. <laughs> <laughs> long neck. Yeah, primo's body and head are far away from one another. <laughs> hey, it's easy. I'm not worried. He's going to come back. Then you, you're going to go. You know, it's funny. I've never met Primo, but I've spoken to him so many times. That's crazy. Online? Yeah. Also, he has my girlfriend's number. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. I want to know. Oh. <laughs> you Dog. took a step, bro. Wait. Yeah. yeah. What's you and my on? girlfriend uh, are friends. And they, so Primo and your girlfriend are friends. Yeah. Okay. And they went to some So party Primo's together. your girlfriend's friend. male bestie. And then they went to. No, not together. male bestie. They're just friends. Okay. And then they went to a party. And then the next day he, he video called and she was like, hey, you know this guy. And then we spoke on the phone. And then we planned to do some sketches. So you spoke to Primo on your girlfriend's phone. So he, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so he video called. I want to. I want to. No. <laughs> next thing about our Titu Tlapile Primo. <laughs> Wait, Doc. <laughs> Doc, I want to know your what he He'll put himself in a situation and then judge us for laughing. <laughs> Doc, <laughs> Doc. Wait. It's because you don't understand how innocent I'm saying this thing to you. We do, but we try to show you the truth. Yeah. <laughs> what truth? <laughs> the truth is, I Primo went out with your girlfriend. Then the they next went to morning, a party, eh? yeah. they had a good time. Yeah. Then the next morning, he video calls your girl. He video calls her. So your girl, because she's your girl, she takes the phone and goes, "By the way, I want you to meet my man." Now there's CT in the picture. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Primo was video calling, expecting to see you. No, he wasn't. <laughs> but I was there. <laughs> If I'm there, I'm there, dog. <laughs> How am I not supposed to be there? I'm dog, there. Like, willingly, out of nowhere, he just said, yeah, I met Primo before. He's got ah, my but you know how I knew? Hi, you know how I knew nothing was happening, man? Because he was saying sister the whole time, over. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, guy, okay, one, I'm telling you, one guy, okay, one. <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh. Yes, it's our. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, no chance. Weird, weird, and wonderful things are happening in the world. Yo, right? We must, yeah. we must embrace it. You know. Dude, but what a journey <laughs> this is. It is, dog. We are. We. I think we are the weirdest podcast ever. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, man. Every, everyone who's been here says it. Yep. You know what I mean? And I think. As the weeks go by, we also realize just how weird it is. Yeah, I know. We even have the sound clip from OK Wasabi's interview. This is the weirdest podcast ever. Yo, yeah. man. Bro, we had to get that, you know. We we, we got gifts on our podcast. From Nina. Show, from Nina, yeah. Did you show you gifts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you guys got gifts, eh? Oh, oh hey, People yeah. don't tell you, hey, being a ghost is being a ghost, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, like I'm not man. sitting on one of those nice fancy chairs. Don't worry, hey, there's an Ottoman man here for you. I'm sitting on a plastic chair. For one of these chair. episodes, for it's a special not a plastic episode. chair, it's a crate. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, guys, Nunga Mamelu Pops, live streaming studios as now my crate. But we are great. Oh! <laughs> Yo, yeah, shout out to Nina for the gifts. You know? Did you eat your chocolate? No. You haven't chowed your chocolate? Because you're still chowing your Kit Kat. <laughs> hey, 
Ай, да да свичам се. Погледай. Е, да разчувам се. What is your previous life, bro? А е, да свичам се. What is your previous life? Dog you went for a, a kid cat man to man. Yeah, dog, pelangisi. All four fingers, one bite inside. Pagat. No, but you know what, dog? Yes, Be- yes. Because of that whole kid cat thing, he started a trend, bro. People are taking us on social media. Dude, did you see that recent one? They biting what all the, four fingers. Um, People about to Usilis robot, like something like that. Yeah, like now it's called song. it's called Silis robot. That's blazing. That's Bruh. crazy, dude. Yeah? South Africa can take anything and take it. No, but the, w- no, we no, we're encouraging a youth of of biting four slabs. Ha, so I chance. No, it's not. I'm more gonna lie. Robot. Doesn't like to me personally, but maybe it's the old age. I mean, I, I don't think it's a thing that should be happening, but it happens. But when you're saying South Africa adapts certain things, let's talk about certain things other people are doing that I don't think will adapt. No. Yeah. No, we need to talk about the you. AI. No, not the AI. No. There's this thing that they're doing where they, they're creating food or salami out of people's DNA. Yes. Yes. Ah, yeah. uh, funny you should say that, bro. So there's this thing now where... <laughs> you guys are playing. Okay? Yeah, mm-hmm. guys. So there's this new thing now. The way they take a celebrity stem cell and they reproduce meat using that celebrity's stem cell. So, like, if you want a salami roll made of George Clooney's DNA, you can get that. Or if you what? want... yeah, yeah you, Look at the faces want, in those two... If you want, yeah, like... Yeah. Ox- Someone just think... Oxtail. Oxtail. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I sold that my mind. Uh, I sold that my mind. <laughs> no, so, so guys, I know we're laughing about it, but this is an actual real thing, right? I so, won't lie. so it, it and that's what they do, like it's happening. It's not like they want to do it. It's happening. They take celebrities' DNA and stem cells and they make like meat products. And now it's happening in South Africa where there's a there's a company in South Africa that that produces meatballs in labs. In labs. Like a plant. Yeah. So they they they're making their own meatballs. So we we can get to a point now where you can have your favorite celebrities meat. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like like personally, I'd 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 like get yeah, a, yeah. a leg of lamb yamakadze. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, it's gonna be Nice and thick. <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you eat, Robert? Who would you eat, Robert? Who, which? Guys, this thing is weird. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that thing. So you would never tell your favorite celebrities meat? I think it's weird. You know, what's that word? Cannibal, what, 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 what? Cannibalism. Aye. Yeah. No. Like how weird would it be? Like, like, like you had a bra, you eating vors. Yeah, no, I. I don't know. Empty the house. He vors are empty the house. Hey. Hey. It's good. Hey. Yo. <laughs> But how crazy is that, bruh? That's insane. The how? idea of growing meat that is uh, of somebody else. Like, it's like smart cannibalism. Mm. Yeah. So, but also, so 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 there's, there's smart cannibalism, but there's, there's also this, uh, I think it's a Japanese company mm-hmm. that uh, they make sushi, but they need your pee to make the sushi. Uh, uh, guys, can uh, blend like it. Uh, no, uh, guys, guys, I'm, uh, guys, my man. Uh, uh, that's where we draw the line. Uh, uh, that's where we draw the line. Uh, guys, I'm t- so what they do is, right, they need your, your pee sample so that I think the pee sample tells them what your body has and what it, what, what it needs. And then from your urine sample, they make sushi to fit your body. My good restaurant is 6 9 Napi Kish. Yeah, so I think more figure that there's a place we are in but the Mokai cup, as in like pee, and then they make the thing. And then I think they just have you on the database. So whenever a robot comes, they use a sample and then. 
I Someone will get in there. Hey, last time I had robot, it wasn't nice. In fact, pop singer. Speaking of database, I'm, I'm also robo, I'm robolectic. <laughs> I'm ro- <laughs> robo le- pops <laughs> intolerant. <laughs> I'm pops intolerant. <laughs> so speaking of database, apparently also there's like an AI. Uh, they created an AI CEO. Yeah, that's been outworking all the other CEOs. Standard. And it's like. Are we going to get to a place where robots are taking over human jobs? Ah. Oh. Ish, 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 ish. Hey. But you're going to salary, salary, salary. Wait, man. Where are we going with all of this stuff, bro? Because... I won't lie. The, the the future is looking hella scary. You know, I was I was hosting a gig the other day. There was a futurist, and she was telling us all these things about mentioned this thing about the 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 AI CEO. Yeah. So apparently, this AI CEO has been outperforming a lot of normal CEOs. But not only that, you can also have an AI of interns. So you can run a Yo, company that man. has yeah. You can literally start a company man. that has AI employees yeah. that has a, an AI CEO. You can do your accounting with AI. So th- where do we fit into the future, bro? Dog, because it's cause, crazy. Because because now you can eat your favorite. Cel- ah, this is moving slowly to cannibalism. Do you see what's happening? Mm. Do you know what it feels like? It feels like we are entering the matrix, right? Because imagine if all the robots, right, that were men. Oh, big. <laughs> if all the robots took over the world, what if they figured out that the only way to live in harmony with human beings is to make us sleep so that we don't mess up everything else? So they don't kill us, but they make us sleep just so they can carry on doing what they need to do without having to accommodate for us. That's the dangerous thing that, like for me personally, when I'm scared about AI. Okay, so you're Let afraid that you. robots are going to roofie us? Yes. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> That's what's going to happen in South Africa because someone's going to... I'm a paraway robot. Let it phone when I'm... <laughs> yeah, clever. <laughs> no, my ini. No, no my ini. <laughs> we are paga da. No, but yo, but actually, let's talk about I Robot the movie. That moment that happened, where yeah. one of them disobeyed like orders and stuff, and started acting out of himself. If we, yo, if these people create them to be that smart, it can be. No, but you see, that's the thing with these, with, the, with this whatever thing. It's about programming, right? So it's always going to be up to the humans what they want to do with the robots. But we're entering into that space now where my biggest question is, where do we fit in as humans? Because in the future, you're going to have robots who are your foot soldiers. You can have AI employees, AI CEOs. Mm. So all the work essentially is going to be done. You know what I mean? There's there's no there's going to be no less and less need for human uh, interaction or human. Uh, there won't be a need for us to pick up or carry things or to do things because we'll have robots. There won't be yeah. a need for us to to do accounting and calculations because we'll have AI. Yeah. So then, what what do we do? I think creative. Not all of us are creative. Some people are like, I'm here, I'm a builder. I build. <laughs> Some, My name is like, it's Bob. Yeah, I'm a builder. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I hear you. And that's, yeah, that's actually tricky. That's scary, bro. We're going to have a world with 10 billion people. Sitting at home being couch potatoes. Yeah, man. But think about it. It's not the first time that it's happening. I mean, think about the job title of a postman today. Mm-hmm. What does a postman do? It's like, postman is like DMs of back in the day, you know, uh, you want to get your message across, you take it there. But now, there's nothing... Like, postmen don't... They're even cutting down on postmen. Like, the post office is not having postmen anymore. Um, so, that innovation... And a postman was a repeatable job. Yes. Back when we were kids. It even had a show. Postman, postman Pat. Pat. And his black and white cat. Hey. Now, where's the postman? In the future... What do you this, call Postman Pat when he retires? Uh... Pet. <laughs> but post. <laughs> also post. Did you miss that one? 
Post. Yeah. Man, Pat. Post. Patrick. Wow. Uh, Patrick. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, bro. Because that's 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 the chat for me is that with all this thing happening digitally, right? Who's governing cyber mm. cyber the cyber world? You know what I mean? Who's who's looking after? So all of this is going to start happening. We're going to live AI, whatnot, whatnot. By the way, Elon Musk. Propo- I don't know if it was Elon Musk or Bill Gates. They propose that in the future people get like a a grant because there's not going to be much left for us to do. Mm. So everyone else will just get a grant every month, and our job will just be like to fulfill our days with meaningful things and and creativity. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we're gonna have all of this stuff, but who's gonna govern the cyber world? You know what I mean? Because yeah. we're still falling victims. The world's improving and getting better, and all this digital whatnot. But who's gonna govern the internet, bro? Yeah. And that's a big thing because a lot of people don't take uh, much attention uh, to governing or to at least protecting their cyber spaces. Yeah, dog. I think even with us, bro, we always fall victim to like, I know like right now there's someone who I think stole my previous iPhone mm. and has been trying to log into my stuff. Mm. So you keep getting the, there's a phone. There's a phone in Boxburg trying to do uh, this. Then, uh, no, that's with the the. Ah, I want to What if there's a cheese gang or Shelly Boxpack? If you are a cheese girl who lives in Boxpack, please look for a blue, <laughs> serious blue, iPhone 13, <laughs> 512 gigabyte, Pro Max. It's somewhere in your neighborhood. They are trying to log into my stuff, <laughs> but luckily I've got two factor. Authentication, what, 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 what? And luckily, you've got Clarifone. Yes. Cybersecurity. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. yes. Uh, there's people with passwords is one, two, three, four today. No, bro. There's people whose passwords are still password. <laughs> people thought it was a clever thing to to use the word password as, as a password. password. Yeah. Do Do you know there's still like the number one password? In the world. In the world. It's password. Yeah, because password. when you ask them, they don't say password. They say P A W S W O R D. Yes. Until you go, ah, oh, man, give password. <laughs> so they, they're still there. So for me, if, you, if you're going to have, if you're going to be safe online, you constantly need to change your password mm-hmm. all the time. All right? And you, you can't have just like one thing, like a word. You can't say robot. As your password. Your password, and here's what I found, and this is my advice to people out there. Song lyrics can be a password. Mm. Mm. So you can write there, I gotta sneeze the knees to the disease, hashtag seven. Yeah, bro. And what you think about that. You yeah, see, bro. what you think about that can be your next one. Yeah. Yeah. And then for another platform, Ipagwa play Shandy. Hashtag seven. Ah. Uh, Do you know what never, I mean? They'll never get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> They'll never. <laughs> They'll never ever. get it, dog. We're fighting an invisible enemy, dog. Yeah, crime, is, crime is one thing in this country. But now, there's cyber crimes that are happening. People are getting scammed every day, dog. Every day. It took me three weeks to do this. Yeah. Dog, me one time, they stole my PlayStation out the house. They, they broke it, right? Stole my PlayStation and bought games with my card. When I log into the thing again, I just see I bought so many games. Oh. It's so nice. I was like, yo, I'm so lucky, can't I? I paid for every single thing. You got it... scammed by a gamer. Yeah, like a, even that is not safe now. Your PlayStation can be... Because you put your card details on your PlayStation and you wouldn't care enough to put a PlayStation um, and a password because most of the time you're the only one who uses your device. Yeah. So then when they stole it, and and then they were like just making transactions of games. Like I have games I don't even play on that thing now. Bro, we gotta be careful out in the streets, bro. Mm. There was a there was a, a scam that they did where they where they had the backtrack music of the bank. So if you know your bank has this music, so they'd call you and they'd go, Your bank has a music. The, yeah, when you when they when you're on hold. Oh they're oh, hey. so what these guys would do is they would play that background music. They'd call you. 
and okay. say what what were representatives from what what a bank, and then they put you on hold. When they put you on hold, the song plays. Mm. So you hear the song, you go, oh. "This is my bank song." Yeah, and then they come back to you. They're like, uh, "Mr. Chumia, please can we get your details?" What what what? So now you're giving these people your details because it's mm. your bank, mm. right? So I'm like, "Yo, the internet space is not safe anymore." It's not safe for us, not safe for you, but we've got a bunch of guys who are making the internet space safe. Come on, somebody. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to introduce you to two guys by the names of Patrick and Patrick. Over to you, gents. Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Patrick. Cybersecurity is becoming a problem in this country of ours. A well, very Ah, uh, yeah, ours. A very big problem in viruses and technology and digital. So you're asking yourself, how do I protect myself digitally? How do I protect myself in the digital streets? It's simple. Even in your company, from scammers and all the people that are trying to enter you digitally. Contact us at clarofor.com. We have the security solutions for you. Cyber security solutions. We protect against viruses. Scammers, cyberbullying, you name it, digitally, we are there to protect. We will search the virus. And take the virus out. And make sure that you can continue digitally as you were. All you have to do for your cybersecurity solution purposes, contact us on 011-367-0661 or 011-367-0661. It is the same number, just change the O to zero. Yes, because we want to make sure that all of you understand that cybersecurity is available to everybody. Whether you're zero or O, we are there for you. Claro for. We take cybersecurity serious. Very serious. All right, welcome back to Popcorn and Cheese. You guys probably just realized that our studio setup just changed. Cling. Cling, cling, cling. Cling, cling, cling. Today we have the most special guest we've ever had on Popcorn and Cheese, ladies and gentlemen. The youngest guest we've ever had on the show. It gives me great honor and pleasure to introduce to you the biker mice or mice himself. Legendary biker. And he's only... How old are you? Um, 14. He's only 14 and he's already a legend in the biking community. Ladies and gentlemen, cheese boys, cheese girls, please put your digital hands together. Help us welcome the one and only Oratile Piri. Welcome to Popcorn and Cheese, brother. Uh, hello. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good, and you? Oh, like it, man. Dope, dope. Are you, how are you feeling? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited, yeah. <laughs> have you ever been on a podcast? Um, Yeah, I have. Oh, man, we thought we were going to be your first oh, podcast. Should, Which should podcast been... were you at? VMC Planet. VMC, VMC. Planet? Yeah. Which one is that one? Which one? Is... <laughs> VMC Planet? Yeah, they do um youth um podcasts. They interview, like, young people that do sports and stuff. Oh, nice, oh, okay. nice. Was it like a government vibe? Uh, kind hmm? of, yeah. Could the person speak proper English that I was talking to you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. safe. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Whereby did you get the skills? <laughs> At which point did you remember? Mm-hmm. So that, yeah, mm-hmm. so the bike is using petrol or diesel? Okay, okay. All righty. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the presence of future greatness. I mean, the kid's great now, but he's on his way to greatness. Uh-huh. So, Ora, tell us, bro. So first of all, how was school? You you came straight from school to be here, right? Yeah. Yo, thank how you so much, today, man. Um, it was good, yeah. It was good. Yeah. What did you guys do at school today? Work. How what? No subject. No. I did maths. Maths. Yeah. English. Yeah. Afrikaans. Um, science. Bio. Biology. Um, I didn't do art because I had to leave school early to come here. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. No, the arts. Teacher. A teacher. Sorry, Ne. Sorry. Sorry. What's your teacher's name? Um, yo, she's new, so I don't have her name yet. S- uh, Miss, Miss new. Anonymous. Miss New. Miss New. Sorry. We didn't know. We, but we, we knew. didn't know. 
if we, we didn't knew, knew we would we have known. If we had we knew, we would have known. We would have known. Now we know. Now we know. Knew. Yeah. So, Ora, man, you're a biking sensation, bro. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about this bike here. Specifically, so, yeah. This specific bike. Mm -hmm. When did you start racing this bike? Uh, I started racing this bike when I was four years old. Yeah. Four? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so about 10 years ago. I've been racing for a decade. Yeah. Well, this is my 11th year. This is your 11th year racing? Is this, yeah. is this a pocket bike? Like, yeah, 50 I, cc's. Come on, Pops. I inside. So this is a pocket bike. This is yes, that yeah. This is a proper bike, and not that you were riding it when you were four. You were racing it when you were four. Yeah. <laughs> and at four years old, what were you doing on the track? Were you winning? Um, I was getting podiums. Yes. Um, Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let Let me explain to our cheese boys and cheese girls. Some of them, you know, are from Sibukeng and stuff. Okay. Uh, uh, you uh, like uh, yes. As you know, one or two, not three, times three. And in the place to be, Oratile, Piri, has been one. always on the podium. So podium means you're either first, second, or third all the time. So you've always been podium. Yeah. Bro, how many trophies do you have? Um, too much to count. <laughs> <laughs> Big boys. How many medals do you have? Um... If I was to estimate around 60-something, maybe. 60-something? 50-something, yeah, somewhere around there. And trophies? Trophies Those are too much. Are Over 100. Too much, yeah. Over 100 biking trophies. Yeah. I mean, for a decade, that means he's been racing since... When I was four, I was four. Four? Yeah. When I was four? Four? Ah, me, at four, I was, I, was, uh, I was telling my parents, why did they vote for the ANC? You know what I mean? <laughs> I you had an like, argument with your father. I had an argument with my father. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, Pops, not here. Um, <laughs> so, what so, got you into... Well, like, yeah, how did you get into biking yeah, at four bro, years like, old, bro? Um, so, my dad would usually go to Kailami. Before it got renovated, he would go on track days and he would bring the family with us. Um, and I was fascinated at seeing bikes. And he, only saw, and he brought my push bike with me. So sometimes I tried to go on the track with him. And obviously that stopped me. So then he got me this pocket bag and that's how I started. Yo, shout out to your oh, dad. Oh, shout yeah. out to your dad. Yeah. The legend himself, Tabi Sopiri, who's in the building today. The so your dad used to race at Kailami, take you guys with, and then you would try and get on, on the track with your little push bike. And that's how your dad got you the, the, the first pocket bike. Yeah. And then you started competing. Yep. And you started winning. Mm -hmm. And you never stopped winning. Never stopped. Bro. Big bars, man. Bro. That's so like, and, and I think that's how he became besties with Brad Binder, bro. Yeah, like he's his bra now. Yeah, dude. We, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a campaign right now uh, that's got you and Brad Binder in it. Isn't Brad Binder one of your heroes? Yeah, he is. So what was it like meeting Brad Binder, bro? It was... A mix of emotions. I was excited. I was shocked, surprised, nervous. And How did it happen? How did it all go down? So, um, checkers basically came to me saying they wanted to do an ad. Mm -hmm. So then when I went to the track to go and shoot, I was recording, they were interviewing me. And then they told me to look back. And that's when I saw him and I was so surprised. It was such a shock. Like My heart, my heart skipped a beat. I was nervous at the same time. Yeah, it was, it was a mix of emotions ringing. Yeah, that's so cool. Brad. So Chica surprised you with that by bringing your hero to your prison. Yeah. And then you guys rode together. Yeah. So you on the track racing with Brad Bender on your bike. Yeah. Obviously your big one, not this one. This is your first yeah. bike. So you were on your bike. Brad was on his bike. You guys were racing. Yeah. How did that feel, bro? Like on the track with your that's hero. So amazing, man. It was fun. All I can say is it was a lot of fun and exciting. It was thrilling as well. Did you beat him? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. What's, what's the first thing you ever said to Brad Binder? First thing? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't go, eh, oh, you. He said hello. Oh, what bread? Uh, <laughs> bread is this you? <laughs> Dude, man, like, so I want to know about your sport, right? Because 
it's it it requires a lot for you guys to this is not an easy sport to get into mm-hmm. and it's a very expensive sport um how much how much how much assistance or help do your parents give you cuz oh by the way it's not just you right your little brother also does this yeah how old is your little brother he's i think he's 9 now he's 9 years old yeah. and what's his name amo amo so you and amo are both races yeah so this obviously your parents are the ones who who sort of fund everything yeah how much goes into like this this sport like what do you need what are all the things you need for the sport um well you need a working bike you need protective gear mm-hmm. like helmets a suit gloves boots um you gonna need tires cuz riding does Get shower you tired. Of, yeah yeah how often do you change tires um every race you use at least two sets two two sets yeah every and, race. They cost, and they cost around 3 and a half k to 7 and a half k and how often are you racing monthly i'm racing almost every month we'll have maybe one month a break somewhere during the year mm-hmm. but yeah. every month you're racing yeah how many races in the season um around 8 eight. eight yeah around 8 Sure, dude. And Thank and you. I, I want to know about your sport, man. Like, because I've you know I've, I've I've come to watch you on the track and stuff, and I've I, I don't see people that look like me and you often there. Uh, in your class, in your category, what class are you in now? I'm in the um, SSP 400 class for a series in MRSSA, and also race for um, RSR Club Series. Yeah. And I'm in the sub 400 there. All of that stuff sounds so cool. Bra, I'm in mean, the RCC 5000, 5G, G, yeah. G, G, yeah. G, and then we're in the CC 50 and, and the uh, SSV part, but I'm also part of the double H, uh, triple H. Hey, not. How many, how many other black kids are in your category? Um, it's just me and my friend KJ and, and teammate. It's just the two of you. Hector. Yeah. You and your friend KJ. Yeah. Yeah, but but you know it makes sense because of of how expensive the sport is. to get into to stay in you know yeah and and you are always in podium yeah ah bro this man and his little brother bro he's he's whipping ah, he's whipping them he's beating them bro. he's whipping them so are you part of a bike gang because rona we were introduced to bikers as gangs right <laughs> yeah. when i was young the well, only bikers we knew were rats <laughs> there were these three rats that used to come on tv they were called the biker mice from mars by car mice or mice as we call by it by car mice or mice yeah there was vini i can't remember the other group so uh, so are you part of a team are you part of a bike man. gang um we have our own team basically what's what's it called titans titan team titans ah. <laughs> team yeah, 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 yeah. double t t yeah titan academy titan by car mice or mice oh titan academy oh t yeah. oh t a yeah yeah t oh basically, titan yeah, academy yeah. and it's you it's your brother to your dad it's kg it's kg uh, and i have another friend his name is tyler okay yeah and what does he create uh yeah. see what i did there yeah, yeah. all right all right <laughs> so look man um i think the reason why we have ora here ladies and gentlemen is because He is doing phenomenally, right? Amazing stuff. He's he's a biking champ, but the problem with this sport is that in order to advance, you always need a cash injection. Mm-hmm. Right now you are in the 100cc category. I'm um, in the sub 400 and SSP 400. 400cc yeah. category, right? And Aura has the least powered bike on the track. He's got when so before they race, correct me if I'm wrong. They have to test your bikes, right? Mm, they just uh they don't test it, like they analyze. just check it, yeah. Mm. They check if everything's good and it's okay and it's the right CCs obviously. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Compared to the other races, is your bike faster or slower? Much slower. So you've got like one of the weakest bikes on the track. Yeah. But you're beating these guys. and you're still winning. <laughs> yeah. So, cheese uh, gang, come on. Cheese boys, cheese gang <laughs> and cheese girls. Here's what we want to do. So the reason why Ora's here today 
is his his parents have started a backer buddy fund for him. Yeah. We need a hundred thousand rand to get Ora the bike that he needs to dominate the track. So, what's the dream for you, bro? Like, where where do you where do you want to take this biking thing? How far do you want to go? Um, I want to get to race overseas in um, MotoGP and become a champion there. So you want to be the next Brad Binder? Yeah. 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 Come on. And right now, do you have a sponsor? Do you have someone who sponsors you? Mm, be, no, it's just my parents. So everything that has gotten you to those points has just been mom and dad? Yeah. So there hasn't been a big sponsor who's come and said, we want to sponsor Team Titan. No, None no, of that. No. Okay. Okay. So, cheese boys and cheese girls, I put it to you. Sitting here is the next Brad Binder. And he looks like me, he looks like you. Come on. All I'm asking is that we put, we're going to put Aura's backer body details up. The target is 100K. The target is 100K. So wherever you are, if you're a cheese boy, you're a cheese girl, whatever you want to put in that backer body, it doesn't matter. A, a little goes a long way. Yep. You can put in 50 bucks, you can put in 10 bucks, you can put a thousand bucks, you can put a, however, if you decide, you know what, I want to buy the bike for Aura. Buy the bike. Buy the bike for Aura. Buy the bike. Buy the bike for Aura. Go there where they sell the bikes to buy yes. the bikes. Just buy the bikes. Yeah. You buy the bike. So this is what we're gonna do, and this is something that's so special, right? So for everyone that donates to the fund, you're putting the people's names on your bike. Yeah. How beautiful is that, bro? That is dope. So everyone who makes a donation will have their name. Put on the bike. bike. That will be winning. Exactly. A winning. So if you want to put your name on a, a winning, winning bike, bike. <laughs> make a donation. So I'll start. I'll make a commitment. Thank you know, I'll start. I'll make a commitment. Uh, our goal is 100,000 rand. From from me, I'm going to commit to 10,000 rand. <laughs> yeah. So much. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to commit to 10,000 rand. <laughs> but I want my name on the whole bike. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yo, and uh, from myself, Uncle Robot, 10K, my boy. Oh! Yeah. Cheese boys and cheese girls, we are 20K down. We Listen, we just need you. The other eight. I, oh, actually, we have more people. Gents. Yeah, ah, gents. In, the, in the room. <laughs> gents. Hey, Please everyone don't looked need. away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please don't need you look at the chase, Arja. Look at the chase, Go, go number two clipper, la puma, five clipper. I, I'll commit as well. Ah, where? Yeah. Ah, where? Yeah. Obviously, Ziti. my career is uh, on the come up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll commit 5,000 reds. Oh, oh, yes. We are 25 games. Yes, yes. <laughs> also, we are putting the, we are putting our, we have an, an enemy department on our mm. station. You know what I mean? Mm. There's these other eggs. Just Mac and so. Like, hey, just just hey, hey. Who are those? Hey, Mac and so. Always just trying to chill. Always yeah, yeah, trying, trying to chill. We're yeah. having popcorn and we're cheesy here, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. So, so to to the other division of our network, uh, we're gonna put we we putting you guys uh, on the on the what are we putting them on? On the on the what do you call it when you put someone on? on we're putting the, the um, we're putting you on the spot. We're putting you on the spot. The spot. As popcorn and cheese, we've committed to twenty five k to cheese boys and cheese girls out there. Please make sure you make your donations to Oratile's backup buddy. Let's get him to that 100K mark. Let's get him a bike so he can compete in his category, so he can keep dominating, keep winning, so he can make his way overseas and become the first black MotoGP champion from, from South, South Africa. R. From South A, our one and only, ladies and gentlemen. So we're putting all, all your details on. Yep. Yeah, all your details on. For me, honestly, I see you and your brother. You know, we've spoken a lot about you because we want to get you the bike. But your brother is exactly the same as you. He's winning and you're his biggest inspiration, yeah. you know. So, so both of them are always winning. So we want to make sure we get them there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is a sport that is, that is, uh, that is very expensive to, to stay in, to compete in. So I think if we can if we can do as little as we can to help yeah. cheese boys, cheese gang out there, please make sure you put into that backup body. And if you know anyone who's looking to to sponsor, holla. Holla, there's space on the bike. Right now you have your your own energy drink. 
water. It's yeah. not an energy drink. It's a it's you've got your own drink. Tell us about yeah, yeah. ginger um, juice. Yeah, it's called Piri Power. Ice. Uh, Piri Power. Piri Power. Piri Power. Are you tired of not having energy? Piri Power. It's <laughs> all for energy. Uta tia. Come over, Munda. Hahina. Piri Power. Inali vum vum vum. Does it make you go faster? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> so, if people want to get some Piri Power juice, where can they buy Piri Power juice? Um, we have a website. You can go to Dad. Where do you go? <laughs> <You're so cute. laughs> dad, oh, yes, dad. Yes, dad. Ladies and gentlemen, dad. The dad. Tabi Sopiri. The website is uh, www.piriboys.com. Uh, ah. Piri Boys for Piri Power. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the legend himself. You saw him here first because mm-hmm. we know none of you watch YMCA. Or re- what is that other? Uh, uh, you saw him here first, ladies and gentlemen. I wanna I wanna do a quick quiz with you before we let you go. Okay. Quick quiz with you. Wanna know if you know your sports well. Mm-hmm. Want to know if you know your sports well. Who eats? Mm-hmm. Who eats the captain of the South African rugby team? Who eats? Who is? Who, Who is? is? Who is? Oh. Oh, okay. One down. Okay, okay. Two to go. Okay. Uh, Who eats the fastest Formula One driver in the world and races for Team McLaren? McLaren? Yeah, Mercedes. Uh, Mercedes. Oh, Mercedes. Yes. Mercedes. Sorry. Do you know your sports ah, very well? Ah. It's the takeover, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Who continue. Is? Yeah. The fastest. F1 Formula racer who's racing with Mercedes Benz. Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton. Michelle and Zandra. Do you want me to take the last one? Take the last take one. The last one. See, see. See. Who's the golfer who won 15 majors, second of all time behind Jack Nicholson? Yo? <laughs> what sport is this one? Golf, golf, golf. Golf. Ah. Uh, golf. Hey, guys, I don't know this one. Um, Should we give you a clue? Yeah, give me a clue. Think two, of a, two of his relatives went on the loose in the country <laughs> this year. Think of an animal. Yeah. In one Walkerville. of them was in Walkerville. In Walkerville. Tiger View? Woods. Yeah. 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 Tiger was loose in Tiger View. <laughs> and the answer is Tiger Woods. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Um, and do you know what all those people have in common, Pops? Tell, tell him. Yes. So uh, one thing all those people have in common is that they're all black sportsmen who made it in sports fields that weren't for them. Yeah. Not, w- not for them. Dominantly. But, yeah, that were predominantly their sports. Right, they rose through the challenges. Tiger Woods had to rise through so many challenges, and he became the greatest golfer in golfing history. Yeah. Lewis Hamilton came into a predominantly white sport; is still dominated by white yeah. people, and he's the best Formula One driver to come out of there. Then we had uh, what's Tiger his name? Woods. No, Tiger. Sia Colisi. Sia Colisi. Sia Colisi is it led us to a Springbok World, World Cup, Cup victory. Yeah. You know. Young black boy from Eslaleni in the Eastern Cape. So you, young man, are the guy we're looking at to bring us home that MotoGP champion. You are on your way. Stick to school. I mean, art is fine. You can touch your art once in a while. <laughs> to come to popcorn and cheese. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, stay in school. Keep doing us proud. You've done amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to share a picture with the team of all your trophies and your medals and all that stuff. But we're super proud of you. Keep doing the wonderful work that you're doing. And we want to help you get there. Get to the next point. You know? Yeah. Um, and, and is there anything you want to say to your mom and dad, man? Because, I mean, they... This is them. This is, they've gotten you to this point. Is there anything you want to say to them? Uh, just thank you. And and I really appreciate the support that they've given me and the amount of sacrifices that they have have to they've had to do to get me to where I am. Yeah, I'm really uh, appreciate pre- appreciative of them. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, Shout out, man. future biking champion, the legend himself in the making. Please put your digital hands together. Make some noise for the one and only Oratile Piri. Hey, baby. Hey.
Yeah. yeah. And before you go, Hora, one last question. Have you ever been in a fight? Yes. <laughs> Have you ever been in a fight, bro? Where? Doesn't matter. In school, life. I think, yeah. I can't skip this one, eh? It's yeah. popcorn and cheese. It's popcorn and cheese. We we need to know. Have you ever been in a fight? Yeah, I have. Wait, how old were you? I think, I think it was last year, in fact. Yeah, 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 last yeah, yeah, yeah. Last week. Yeah. What happened? What, what happened? is the altercation? Uh, football. Ish. Oh. Ish. So you play soccer as well? Yeah, I then play soccer. Yellow card. Uh, pardon? Yellow card. Then what's our ref? <laughs> uh, no, it was just with my friends in the States. And then one of us was picking on another, and then it just led. And then it led to us picking sides. And then it was team versus team. Yo, SmackDown versus Raw. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so it was a Kuri Kuri team. <laughs> boys from what what versus the Tech boys? Team. Tech, Tech team. team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one guy with the kick also. Yeah. <laughs> Who won? My team, of course. Yeah. <laughs> the winner. Yeah. Nah, thank you so much for joining us, bro. We wish yeah, you all the man. best. You know, God bless you in your journey. And yeah, shout out to your parents as well, man. Uh, Keep making you. us proud, man. Keep making us proud. Yeah, well. Our way. Ladies and gentlemen, a star in the making, a man who was born to be a star from the age of four. Kalaba Shapa Motreki. He's been gunning it. He's been killing it, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise one more time for the one and only Arapiri. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that has been another episode of Popcorn and Cheese. On that beautiful note, ladies and gentlemen, we want to remind you gently that we have a special surprise that's coming for episode 10. <laughs> you want to hold on to your earphones for this one. And then, of course, ladies and gentlemen, the other division of the podcast network will be hosting a live event at Sunbet Arena. This is happening on the 30th of July. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. And you're probably asking yourself, Jeepers. Creepers, where does this amazing podcast take place? <laughs> Ask no more, because it happens right here at Streaming Studios. You too could have your very own podcast, or who knows, a TV show. It doesn't matter what you need. You're all multi-million, hey, multi-million, multimedia needs hey. for you to become a multi-millionaire are taken care of here at Stream In Studios. Stream In Studios, the place to be when you need to stream in for studios. All right. And then, of course, ladies and gentlemen, on the 10th of June, we are rocking out at Empress Palace for the Pop-Ops birthday comedy celebration. All right. And then that's it from us. Uh, yep. Big shout out to 2050 Event Supplies. Mamela. Supplying us Mamela. with these botanical gardens, built-in cushions, unremovable stainless steel, golden sliding. You hey. could sit on these chairs during a gale force wind and the pillow will go nowhere. Come on, somebody. Come on. What's happening here? Call <laughs> them on this number and check them out on Facebook. 2050 Event Supplies. All right. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, big thank you to our amazing guest for joining us all the way from his school today, ladies and gentlemen. He had to leave class while ma'am was still painting. He was like, I'm not going to wait for this paint to dry. And he... And then he rode his bike all the way here. This one. This one, he was there. Dreads everywhere. Dreads. Do your dreads fit in your helmet, by the way? Yeah, they do. Do you like do you like a, a pondo or? Mm, I just move them to the side, like just oh, like, to the oh, side, so that they're not in my vision. Oh, oh, otherwise, when you're driving or oh, when you're riding, it's just gonna be. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna look like you're like riding behind bars. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Hey, hey. from me, ladies and gentlemen, the corn that pops and the cheese that's great, we are Lobo Pops. And we are out. Popcorn and cheese. One of my bundles, not of choice, that it's in Pop Pops and Robot Boy. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese.